is me and welcome back to another video. So today I have lots of different things on. So far this morning I actually took Joey out to do some arena eventing and I took my helmet camera with me because I haven't done a helmet cam video in absolutely ages and I know that you guys really enjoy them especially if at the moment for whatever reason you can't ride. I always love watching them myself because it feels like you're riding somebody else's horse somewhere new. Um, but anyway we had so much fun doing that. We did a little um, small course of show jumps first and then afterwards we did a few of the arena um, cross country or arena eventing jumps and Joey had so much fun so I did a bit of a voiceover of that so that'll be coming up soon. Also today you guys love my cleaning videos and I have my old trailer that is absolutely disgusting that I need to clean because I'm selling it to a friend of mine so that's going to be very satisfying. Also, I don't know if I'll get it done today, but the plan is to put the donkeys into their new winter paddock as we're going into autumn. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the clips of me and Joey when we went to arena eventing. All right, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a voiceover of Joey and I's arena eventing training. So after warming up, obviously, I first started off by um, jumping the show jumping course, having a break, and then jumping the cross country course afterwards. I found that with that first jump, he was a little bit distracted by the guy in the orange jacket. So I feel like the first jump, we had a bit of a chip into the second one. He jumped really nicely, so I was very happy with that. Then it was time to do a turn around to number three I got him nice and straight and he hit the stride perfectly so I was very happy with that then it was time to quickly look around to number four I probably could have looked a little bit earlier I had to get him nice and straight and then he popped that really nicely here I really should have got him back quicker I should have got him straight to the jump quicker and he was very lucky again at the guy in the orange jacket so we did have a stop you're okay let's do that again Although Joey is a young horse and was obviously quite lucky in that corner, it's important to also remember as a rider there were also things that I could have done better. Nobody's perfect. I should have got him straighter, I should have got him sitting on his hocks more, and I should have had more leg on. So I went round, calm and collected, did the exact same thing again, gave Joey that confidence that it's okay to go into the corner, it's okay to go over that fence, and then the rest of the round was really nice. He jumped this pink upright really nicely and then it was time to jump this fence and we were hitting all of the strides we did get a little bit flat down this long side so we chipped in a tiny bit to fence number nine but overall I was very happy for the show jumping part of our course I gave him lots of pats and gave him a bit of a breather before we then went on to the cross country all right, so now it's time to jump some solid fences. I had to make sure that Joey had that really good canter, but I also wasn't overriding him. I didn't want to make a big deal that the fences were a little bit different. I also had to really have my outside leg on then because as you can see, Joey's canter is a little bit weaker. So we had a tiny bit of a drift then that I had to um, help him out a little bit with my outside leg. Here, I asked him to go back to trot just because I could feel the canter dying on me a little bit. I picked it back up to make sure we had that nice good canter to the next fence so here we had a brush which he did a beautiful big leap over so I really had to try and get him back and collected before jump 13. I tried my best but that did result in a bit of a chip in because he got a little bit longer. For this turn I really had to have my outside leg on to try and get us straight to this slightly skinnier fence. Again we got a little bit of a chip in and then here his canter got very irregular so I had to really sort of calm him down get him back in that nice rhythm so I did decide to trot him just because the canter was a little bit erratic. I asked for canter again and he had a little bit of sass um, but we actually jumped the last fence really nicely and I was very happy with Joey. He jumped absolutely everything I asked of all of these new solid fences and overall he was just such a good boy. All right, so now it's time to jump the whole course all together, show jumping first, cross country second with no breaks. So this is actually a lot of hard work for Joey, being a young horse that's slightly under muscled at the moment. He's got a lot more muscle that he needs to build up. So um, doing that big show jumping canter all the way around the course is a lot for him. So I got nice and straight to number two. I had my leg on. He actually jumped the stride perfectly. However, I do believe we had that one down. I think maybe he just did 
didn't quite pick his legs up. Then it was time to go round to number three, get him nice and straight, get that good canter. And you can really see the second time doing the course, Joey's feeling a lot more confident than it was time for number four. And I remember that this time after the fence, I really had to get him back, get my legs on him at the same time, get him straight to number five and really give him that confidence through to number six. And he did an absolutely beautiful jump going over that last one, really picking up his legs. And then before I was even over number seven, I was looking at number eight. I shouldn't have cut the corner off as much as I did because it then resulted in us chipping into number eight that then resulted um, number nine being not bad, not good. It was just kind of all right. So then it was time for the cross country. So I decided to go back to trot, pick up my canter, get that really good canter to the first solid fence. And then I was already looking at my second solid fence of the course before I was even over the first. Got Joey nice and straight. Again, he really felt a lot more confident. The canter was a lot less erratic, although I think I still decided to go back to trot here, pick up that canter, get it really nice. If I was on a more established horse that maybe had more muscle and was a bit stronger than Joey, I would have just done a half halt and carried on cantering. But for Joey, I thought it was best to trot. Here, I actually decided to go back to trot because he landed on the wrong lead. Um, Joey can't quite do flying changes yet, but that's something I hopefully will teach him in the future. Number 14, we hit perfectly and then our canter was just so much more rhythmical to number 15, hit that stride perfectly. I did decide to go back to trot in this last corner just because it's quite a tight turn and I didn't want Joey to be unbalanced. We jumped the last fence of the course and overall I was so happy with Joey. You could really see how much he improved within the session itself. At the beginning, his canter wasn't as rhythmical. He was a little lucky at some of the fences. And by the end, we were hitting all of the strides perfectly. Um, he wasn't drifting as much around the corner and he just felt so much more rhythmical in his canter. So overall, I was so happy with him, so proud of him. And of course, he got lots of pats and treats. Right, so welcome to the trailer. This might be familiar to some of you who watched my videos back in the day when I first started doing YouTube. So this trailer we got in 2010 or 2000, yeah, Christmas of 2010, we got this trailer. Uh, we got it third hand. So the people that we're selling to for not that much, uh, we're pretty much giving it to them. Um, we, <laughs> they're getting it fourth hand. So this trailer, is it had about eight years of being used weekly back when I had when I was riding Mickey pretty much all the time it was around 2018 that um it went in the field and kind of never really returned um we've always kept the trailer because we've used it for the donkeys so back in 2018 was probably the last time we used it when Bruno had his surgery and it's just a lot easier to get the donkeys into but now we're just thinking We'd rather it go to a home that someone's going to enjoy it until the end of its days. Um, and also, you know, we can probably get the donkeys in the van somehow. It just might be a little bit more difficult um, because the donkeys aren't used to traveling. Um, I haven't looked in here for, I don't know how many years. It's, it's, it's gonna be interesting inside. Um, we're gonna have to get the pressure washer on this. So hopefully after a bit of cleaning, it's gonna be looking great. Also something about trailers that terrify me, but this one's all good is that um, please, if you're buying a trailer secondhand, make sure you know what's in the flooring. We have a metal one, so that's all good. But um, old trailers, they used to have um, wooden floorings in and I've heard horror stories of it getting rotten and a horse's hoof going through. So please, please check your trailers, make sure they're all good. Um, but anyway, we have got a lot of cleaning to do. Hopefully this will be looking amazing afterwards. There's even some like really old stickers on here. I don't know if I'll be able to get them off or if I can make them look a bit better. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Time to get the pressure washer. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the splash zone. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. All that good emotion. Just my kind of heat. Keep it on me, beep. Tested by the potion. Love it, this the potion. I didn't realize that I was going to get this wet while pressure washing. If not, 
I would have put like a proper waterproof jacket on. Luckily, my body warmers kept me pretty warm. I mean, pretty dry, well, warm and dry. But I think it's because I'm doing it really close to really satisfyingly get all the grime off. But it's looking better so far. I had to use a stool for some parts, but then I was like, actually, the higher I am, the closer I am to the water and the more I'm getting sprayed. So, oh well. Um, I think the next thing I need to do is get a scrubbing brush, a bit of um, car shampoo, and give it a bit of a clean because it, it's seen better days. <laughs> look how much better the trailer is looking that was very satisfying however now I've done the outside it's time to tackle the inside and I have no idea what it's gonna be looking like in here okay I haven't undone these latches and ages okay big reveal oh my goodness what is in here So here we have a haylage net. I don't know how old it is and I probably don't really want to know what it is infested with because I can see a few spiders here and there. Don't worry if you're scared of spiders I'm not going to show any up on screen. Um, but I'm going to take this out. I'm probably going to need to get a sweeping brush, give it a sweep and there are a lot of cobwebs in here as well. So um, yeah, lovely. Good thing I'm not scared of, scared of bugs and things because if not, it would be impossible to clear this out. Okay, out we come. in this trailer is now gone it's looking so much better now but during the wash off of the trailer i kind of washed myself off at the same time so i get got quite wet during the process so i'm gonna go and change my clothes get into something a little bit drier and i'll see you guys in a bit all right everybody i'm now a lot drier than i was before i'm in a nice change of clothes i've even put some extra layers on because it's getting a little chillier as it's becoming to the end of the day but the last thing I need to do is get the donkey's new winter paddock set up. So a few videos back, you might know that um, this was their summer paddock for a little while. Uh, this is actually our neighbor's field who's very kindly letting us put the donkeys in here. And they actually had a sale on field shelters. So we've got a nice little cute tiny one for the donkeys. So when it's windy and rainy, they can go in here. I'm not too sure what the sort of donkey routine or setup is gonna be like. Um, so I'll update you guys on that once they're kind of a little bit more settled in this field but the last thing I need to do is set up some electric fence because um, this is quite a big field they don't need the whole of it and there are some areas where the fencing is a bit dodgy so we're going to put some electric fence up just to make sure they're nice and safe and sound in this paddock 
So yeah, I'm gonna grab my wheelbarrow and um, take down a load of electric fence and stakes and hopefully by the end of the day, it will be all ready for the donkeys. Watch out, they said I won't see you come in. Bounce out for sure, won't blink out, we're standing face to face. And I'm as hard to know, Ben, you'll come all direction. I get it ahead of myself. You're smiling, cause you know you got my attention. Now it's up to me. You're looking at me, and I can't help stare. Right there, right there. I'm coming for you, so be patient, dear. Just stay right there. You're looking at me, and I can't help stare. Right there. Right the electric fence is now all set up. They've got their field shelter. I just need to make sure they've got some water and then it's time to go and grab the donkeys. Still think about that empty field, just you and me in time to kill my first kiss. I didn't know would come. Laughing at my stupid jokes Both of us wishing we were ruled right then Cause we knew it was love And everybody says take it slow But I think it's true when you know you Alright guys, the donkeys seem really settled in their new paddock now. Even though it's not kind of new, they've been in here before. Uh, classic Bruno decided to go and pee the first thing he did when he came in here. So that's obviously what he thinks of the new field. Um, but no, they all seem really settled now. They're all eating. It was really funny because they all had a little poke inside the new field shelter because obviously that's new. And they all did like a little lap round. They wanted to see the back, you know, take it in the full 360 degrees. Um, but anyway, before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everybody that came to Hoy's and met me. I had so much fun meeting you all. So I thought I'd do a little Hoy's edit at the end of this vlog for you guys. But also, if you missed me at that show, I will also be attending Olympia. I'm going to be there on the Sunday and the Monday, so I hope to see you guys there. And I'm also going to be at the Liverpool International Horse Show as well, hopefully. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe, because it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. And enjoy the Hoy's edit.